from functional cameras to programmable robots. In today's video, I'll be showcasing 27 exclusive features that are only found in this edition. One of the things that sets Education Edition apart from the other versions is its use of chemistry. Take a look at this, for example. Open up the compound creator, put in cerium and chlorine, and voila! You've got cerium chloride. Place this item above any torch in the crafting menu, and you'll get a blue torch. Like, come on! Why isn't this in Java? Ten-year-old me would have loved this to decorate my house. You might just be wondering, though, how do you get these chemicals? Well, meet the material reducer. Just drop an item inside, and it will break it down into its base, chemical components. It's a cool way to know what elements Minecraft items are made of. When you're playing around with the material reducer, you might stumble upon something interesting. This is a secret element called Element Zero. At the moment, you can't really do much with it, and this is the only way to obtain it. But it's still a cool easter egg. Maybe it will have some use in a future update. Who knows? If that sounds cool, then you'll love the element constructor. However, if you don't know much about chemistry, this might be a bit confusing. So, let me give you a quick rundown. Here, you can change the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons to create elements out of thin air. For example, if we put one of each, we get hydrogen, which is the first element in the periodic table. Okay, that's enough science now. Before I go crazy, this is the camera. And if you watched our previous video, you would know that this was once a concept in the Bedrock Edition that never made it past beta. You might expect to just snap a picture and save it in some random folder. But no, you can actually see the photo in-game in this little book. How cool is that? You can save your creations and inventions here, which we will touch upon a bit later on. So stick around. Looking to create an arena to fight your friends or to host tournaments? The border block is perfect. It is impossible to cross over or under. Well, I kinda lie, it's not impossible. But hey, don't let your friends in on that secret. And if your friends get tired of fighting and want to explore, and maybe even decide that they wanna make an ocean base, you can use an underwater TNT to break blocks. Simply combine sodium and TNT in a crafting menu, and boom! Quite literally. But that's not the only underwater tool in this edition. In a similar manner, you can combine magnesium and a torch to make an underwater torch. I still wonder why this is not a feature in other versions. So simple and useful. Ever get bored and feel like trolling your friends? The perfect prank is to fill their base with deny blocks. These blocks prevent any building of a specific material, leading to hilarious moments as your friends freak out while mobs invade and they're left helpless. If you want to roleplay a school as a teacher, or actually have a classroom setting, you can use a chalkboard to display messages. These boards come in various different sizes, and probably shouldn't be used for making silly jokes. You know what else is silly? This little guy. Meet Agent, a programmable NPC that can pretty much do anything you need. It's like having a personal assistant in-game, and it's a great way to learn coding whilst having fun. And also, you cannot kill him, unless you use a command. So, he's here to stay. Proud of something you've achieved with Agent? Feel free to open up your portfolio, take a photo, and write a description of what you did. You can even export this to a real file on your computer, where you can see your work outside of the game. Oh, what does it say here? Subscribe? Yeah, I agree. But why stop at one helper? If you open up the chat and write slash give at p spawn underscore egg, 151, you'll receive this egg, which lets you make your own custom non-playable character for your needs. Customize their name, skin, and even their messages to help you or others in your game. Back to science. This is a compound creator, and it lets you combine elements to form up to 30 different compounds. For example, if we take two hydrogens and one oxygen, we can combine them to make Come on, you know what it is. And if you ever need to grow a lot of crops quickly, you might think that bone meal is your way to go. Well, actually, if you combine three hydrogens and one nitrogen, and then take that to a lab table and combine it with phosphorus, you'll get super fertilizer. Unlike bone meal, the super fertilizer never runs out and also instantly grows crops. Speaking of bone meal, you actually don't need to make white dye because you can make bleach in this version. All you need to do is to combine free waters and free sodium hypochloride in a lab table, and boom, you have bleach. And no, for those who are wondering, you can't consume it. Do you ever get mad at mobs or animals who get in your way when you're trying to build? Well, in this edition, you can send them to space by attaching a balloon to them. No more blocking my way when I'm trying to build in peace. But if you accidentally send the wrong thing up, you can pop it with a bow or a trident. Another cool item you can make is the ice bomb. 
If you take four sodium acetates, you'll get this item. And if you throw it in the water, it will spawn ice upon impact. It kind of works like a frost walker, except you don't have to walk on water and the ice will not disappear. If the ice is bothering you because you were being too silly and threw too many ice bombs, you can use the heat block. As suggested by the name, this block is very hot and it will melt the ice next to it. Feeling festive and want to celebrate? The sparkler comes in five different forms. It emits cool particles. It has no actual use. And the slight problem is, it runs out very fast. So enjoy the show while it lasts. Speaking of lights, check out these glow sticks. They come in different colors, just like the sparkler. But when you shake them, they crack and start glowing. While they don't actually emit light to help you see further, they do add a cool effect. Just be careful. They also have a very low durability. If you've played Minecraft for a bit of time, you probably know the pain and frustration of accidentally breaking glass because it is so weak. Hardened glass is tougher and comes in a variety of colors, perfect for making your builds more beautiful and secure, so you never have to worry about breaking your windows again. Sometimes you might just want to show off to your friends or just run away from them. And if you do, by running the command slash ability at s mayfly true, you'll be allowed to fly, even in survival mode. Just don't let your teacher see, or you might get in trouble throughout the video. I've mentioned how the lab table is very useful, but here's a fun fact. If you combine a lot of elements that just don't really make sense together and click combine, you'll get a piece of trash. This edition features a couple random items that just have no use. One of these items is soap. Crafted by combining hydrogen, sodium, oxygen, and carbon in a compound creator. I wonder if they'll add any function to this. A much more useful group of items is the medicine potions. There are four of them, with each one having a unique crafting recipe and ability. Elixir cures the weakness effect, eye drops the blindness effect, tonic the nausea effect, and antidote cures the poison effect. The recipes are quite long, but you can easily find them on the internet as there are many tutorials on how to make them. But finally, the 27th feature only in Minecraft education is this cool library where people can learn coding through beginner-friendly teaching methods. It is an amazing resource for anyone interested in learning while having fun. There are also cool maps and other things that you can check out by yourself. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video and want to know 32 future Minecraft updates which will come to the game, then click the video that's on the screen now.